Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror comedy film, Brain Dead. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins on Skull Island in 1957. A New Zealand zoo official runs away from some tribal people, along with a local man. They are carrying a box that has an infected monkey inside it. The local is scared that the monkey is evil, but the official doesn't care about it. Suddenly, they are cornered by the bloodthirsty tribe that threatens them to release the monkey. The official shows a permit that allows him to take wildlife back to New Zealand. The tribe tears his permit, so he decides to flex his giant gun. He shoots into the air to scare the tribe away. After that, he takes the box for himself and runs away. The tribe angrily chases after the two, but the official manages to reach his car. The local slips and falls, so he has to rush his way to the car. This causes a collision with the official, who accidentally gets bitten and scratched by the infected monkey. Local notices this, so he kicks the official out of the car and chops off his hand, which has the bite mark. However, it turns out that the official has a mark on his head as well, so the local hacks him to death. After that, the local's men hand over the infected monkey to the zoo officials, and it gets taken to New Zealand. The next scene shows a doctor entering a shop, run by a granny and her granddaughter, Babe. Babe has a crush on Doctor, and wants to crush her body on him after showing off her body. Doctor likes what he sees, but has to leave for work. Now Granny wants to check whether Babe is compatible with Doctor. She uses her cards, and reveals that Babe will find someone that she will become romantically involved with. Babe has to attend to a silly customer named Fluffy. He wants some biscuits for his mom, but also spills some pens, so it annoys Babe. However, she notices the pens forming a Santa Maria symbol on the desk, so she approaches Fluffy with seduction, thinking they are destined to be together. Fluffy is nervous, so he walks away from Babe and escapes in a tram. He goes home to meet his mom, but gets scolded because he hasn't mowed the front yard properly. Fluffy avoids her complaints and goes to mow the lawn, but is suddenly pounced upon by Babe's dog. Babe shows up to make the biscuit delivery because she wants to impress Fluffy. She eventually asks him out to a date at the zoo, and Fluffy accepts. After Babe leaves, Fluffy goes to his mom, who is crying over the loss of her husband. He calms her down, and then he gets ready for his date. Now Fluffy and Babe have a fun time at the zoo, but he gets anxious when he looks into a pool. He remembers a childhood incident where he drowned on the beach. It turns out Fluffy's dad ended up rescuing him, but sacrificed himself in the process. Babe tries to cheer him up by taking him to see the chimps, and then she lands a smooch on his smelly face. Fluffy and Babe tongue massage each other, but get interrupted by the chimps, who don't want to see their romance. However, the infected monkey from earlier makes an appearance, and ends up killing one of the chimps. He savagely rips off the arm of his victim and eats it, while Babe and Fluffy watch on in horror. A zookeeper shows up and takes the corpse away, after which he creeps out Babe and Fluffy with scary tales about the infected monkey. The mom is also at the zoo spying on Fluffy and Babe, but she slips and lands next to the infected monkey, who bites her arm. She gets angry, so she smashes the infected monkey's face with her heels. Babe tries to help Fluffy's mom, but gets pushed away because the mom doesn't want Fluffy to end up with Babe as his wife. Later, the mom gets treated by a nurse at the mansion. She scolds Fluffy because she thinks he's hurting her by dating Babe. She even says that Babe is experienced, so Fluffy should avoid her at all costs. Later at night, Babe shows up with Fluffy's jacket. Babe wants to go on another date, but Fluffy says this won't be possible because his mom is getting in the way of their romance. This breaks Babe's heart, so she gives Fluffy a rose and is about to leave. This motivates Fluffy to finally wrestle his muscles with her. While Granny foresees trouble for Fluffy, the mom starts to feel pain in her wound. The next morning, Fluffy checks up on his mom, but notices her wound acting up. Suddenly, the mom's two guests show up, so she quickly gets ready. Despite her skin peeling off in the middle of her dressing up, she tells Fluffy to stick it back to her cheek. Now, everyone sits down for a meal, but she starts to act weird around her guests. One guest wants to leave, but the other wants to enjoy some pudding. Fluffy gets the pudding for him, but his mom accidentally shoots some of her smelly goo into the bowl. The male guest mistakes it for gravy and enjoys the pudding, much to the lady guest's disgust. To be worse, the mom's ear falls into her pudding, and she still ends up eating it, just like the pickle. The lady guest pukes out of disgust and runs away. Later, Babe shows up with her messy dog to warn Fluffy that Granny has seen dark forces messing with him. The dog goes to confront the mom, but gets eaten up with nothing left but his GPS tail. Fluffy pulls out what's left of the dog and suddenly gets attacked by his mom. She goes for Babe next, so Fluffy charges at her, and they both fall down the stairs, causing her to die, and he starts to cry at her death. However, his mom reawakens as a zombie and rips open the nurse's neck. Fluffy faces off against her, while telling Babe to pack his toothbrush into his suitcase. 
Even the nurse becomes a zombie now, and Fluffy is outnumbered, but he manages to drop both the zombies into the basement room. He acts like everything is fine. However, he later goes to meet a shady German vet for some sedatives. At night, Fluffy dresses up in protective gear and goes inside the basement. He's confronted by both the zombies, but manages to use the sedatives to knock them down. Later, Fluffy goes to Babe to ask about the dark forces that she warned him about. Granny shows up and gives Fluffy a holy weapon that he can use to protect himself. Suddenly, Zombie Mom wakes up and charges out of the mansion. She makes her way to Fluffy, but gets struck by a tram, thus causing her to fall in front of Fluffy and Babe. Fluffy uses the sedative to subdue her, but everyone believes that she has died. Babe shows up to the funeral, but gets harassed by Fluffy's creepy uncle named Creep. Meanwhile, Fluffy checks up on his mom's body, which is about to burst open like a balloon. The funeral doctors show up, so Fluffy hides while the body bursts and green goo flies out of it. Creep continues to pull his moves on Babe, but she insults his creepy hormones and walks away. The ceremony begins while Fluffy tries to sedate his zombified mother, but she wakes up again and attacks him. A brief struggle follows, but Fluffy manages to stab her with the holy weapon. This eventually leads to Fluffy and his zombie mom falling into the ceremony, much to everyone's surprise. Fluffy goes to his mom's grave at night to finish her off. However, he's attacked by some goons, led by Bully. Bully takes a leak on the grave, which awakens Zombie Mom, so she grabs and abuses Bully's smelly part for zombified fun. As Fluffy faces off against Zombie Mom, all the goons turn into zombies and approach him. Luckily, a priest shows up and unleashes his fighting skills upon the zombies. An entertaining battle follows, and Priest gives all the zombie goons a run for their money. However, when he kicks a zombie's head out of his body, the head bites him, and Priest eventually lands upon a cross that goes through his torso. Now, Fluffy decides to take care of all the zombies and tries to feed them as zombie pets. However, zombie priest and zombie nurse want to exchange their zombified hormones, so Fluffy stops them. Suddenly, Creep shows up at the mansion and checks it out. He mentions that he wants to be included in Fluffy's will, but then he hears some dirty noises coming from the dining room. Fluffy stops Creep from entering the room, so Creep thinks that Fluffy is trying to deal with the loss of his mom by watching dirty movies. After Creep leaves, Fluffy watches the horrific sight of Zombie Priest doing a zombified workout with Zombie Nurse. He separates them, but Zombie Nurse bites off Zombie Priest's lips in the process. She also seems to have gotten pregnant from this act, as her belly expands quickly. Later, Babe confronts Fluffy on the road for avoiding her calls. He simply says that their getting together was a mistake. Heartbroken, Babe starts crying, so Fluffy tries to console her using his muscles, but Doctor spots them and punches Fluffy for being creepy. Back home, Fluffy realizes that zombie nurse and priest have given birth to a zombie baby. The baby attacks Fluffy, but he's able to subdue it for now. However, when Fluffy inexplicably takes the zombie baby out for a day at the park, it breaks loose and Fluffy tries to catch it while experiencing a comedy of errors. Fluffy finally catches the fat baby before it can hurt any other babies, but he keeps punching it in front of all the shocked mothers. When back home, Fluffy is confronted by Creep. Creep has seen his collection of pet zombies, which he believes are corpses. He threatens to expose this information to the cops, but Fluffy manages to stop him by offering his share in the mansion. Later, Fluffy drops his sedatives while trying to subdue the zombies, and they become aggressive when they hear loud music. Creep is hosting a party at the mansion, and he orders Fluffy to serve his guests. Unfortunately, when a drug guest opens the door, Zombie Bully breaks out of the basement. He attacks the partygoers, but Fluffy manages to stop him by shoving whiskey down his throat. Big now dates Doctor outside the mansion, but she wants to see Fluffy, so she abandons the medicine-smelly Doctor and enters the mansion. Creep harasses her once again, so she kicks his hairy part and takes off his wig. Babe enters the basement and is shocked to find all the zombies inside. She tries to get out, but Fluffy throws Zombie Bully back inside. He attacks Babe, but Fluffy manages to stop him. Then, he reveals everything to Babe. Fluffy says he can't kill his mom or the others, but Babe reminds him that these are all zombies and not real people. Now Fluffy administers poison to all the zombies, effectively killing them. However, when he and Babe get out of the basement, Creep harasses them again. Fluffy gets into a fight with Creep, but gets knocked into the basement. Creep locks Fluffy inside, after which he tries to have his way with Babe. Fluffy realizes that he accidentally administered animal stimulants to the zombies, rather than poison. Suddenly, the zombies awaken and charge at Fluffy. He's able to escape when a drunk guest opens the door, but then, the zombie army also breaks free. A horrifying sequence follows as everyone in the party is killed and infected by the zombie army. 
Fluffy rushes toward Babe, who is defending herself from Creep. The zombies try to break in, so Creep runs away, but is unable to escape the mansion. Fluffy tries to run away, but he keeps slipping on a puddle of blood. Babe hides behind a cupboard and bumps into a survivor named Nerd, who she almost kills by accident. Meanwhile, Creep fights Zombie Priest and gives him a cavity check by pulling out all his teeth. Now, Nerd gets bitten by the baby zombie, so Babe grinds the annoying baby on a mixer before sending it outside. The baby attacks Creep and steals his wig, causing Creep to rush to Babe for shelter. She lets him inside, but then Creep notices Nerd's bite mark and tries to kill her. On the other side, Fluffy fights Zombie Bully, who attacks him despite being ripped in half. After the escape, his holy weapon points toward a treasure chest in the attic. There, Fluffy finds a photo of his dad's mistress. He goes through some photos and finds the mistress's skeleton. He finally realizes that his mom had lied to him about his dad's past. Suddenly, some intestines attack Fluffy, and he makes a run for it. However, he gets assaulted by the intestines and falls through the ceiling, thus dropping his holy weapon. Babe and Nerd run out of their hiding spot. Babe finds Fluffy and tries to help him, but the holy weapon gets kicked away, and Fluffy gets pulled up by the intestines. He bites the shit-smelly intestines and breaks free. Fluffy eventually finds his way to the holy weapon, but gets distracted when a zombie attacks Babe. He tries to save her, but gets knocked out of the mansion. The baby zombie kicks Creep, so he chases after it, but is led to the basement where his zombified mom awakens as a giant monster. She rips Creep apart with no effort. Babe and Nerd struggle to keep up against the zombies, but luckily, Fluffy show up with his lawnmower blades. A bloody and gory sequence follows as Fluffy rips through the zombie army. Even Babe chips in by using the mixer, but she's briefly interrupted by zombie Creep, who first assaults Nerd. Babe is able to kill him, but then Nerd turns into a zombie. With no other choice, Babe blows steam on another burning zombie and uses the flames to kill zombie Nerd. Now, Babe reunites with Fluffy, who is going through the last of the zombies, and she gives him a kiss and the holy weapon. After that, he kills the intestines as well. However, Monster Mom shows up and attacks them both. Babe and Fluffy climb up the chimney, but Monster Mom also catches up to them. Fluffy acts brave and tells her that he knows she was lying to him about how his dad had drowned while saving him. It turns out his mom killed both her husband and his mistress by drowning them in a bathtub, and Fluffy had seen this when he was a child. Monster Mom doesn't care and attacks Babe, but Fluffy confronts her. He gets dragged into her stomach, but Fluffy breaks free using his holy weapon, and he kills his monster mom. A fire devastates the mansion, so Fluffy and Babe make their escape and land right next to a fire truck. The movie ends with Fluffy throwing away his holy weapon and walking off with Babe by his side. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.